Is in the back. Marco's done well for himself. I'd say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock-your-socks-off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel. Willing to take risks. I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess. I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Coe. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I can't do that. The losses I'd incur would be too great. How about I sweeten the deal? Accept my offer and I'll throw in a little something extra for you. Please. Accept this modest donation to the Free Star Rangers. In gratitude for the good work that you do. I won't pretend that I agree with this, but it's your call. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. Alex is too big to be stuck in the same place. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. 
So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Korra, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... I don't know. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Coe. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well... I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Feel free to tour the ship. Come drop. We're home. Just try and stop me.
Hey, deputy. Late one night in... Helga says I spend too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Come in, deputy. Take a seat. Sit down. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a ranger's badge, I will not compromise. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you. And there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. I can understand that. He can be uncompromising, but he looks after his people. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Yeah, he always did like to hear himself talk. Seemed to think he was the smartest guy in the room. Don't know about that. But at least he had the sense to cooperate. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. Sooner or later, the Reaper comes for us all. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. 
Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If the Marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared. Look at him, Deputy. 